Good morning, all. Um, and it's m barely still morning here. Uh, I was up late last night, so late getting up today. Um, it, you know what interests me when I when I look at, at general managers as compared to players is that a general manager like Bob Murray in Anaheim can do a really good job, and it equates to two years. It means that a team goes, you know what? You've done really well. Here's a two-year contract. Meanwhile, you got a rookie, some kid, gets 10 goals. But first-round draft pick, you go, you know what? You're worth a six-year contract offer because we, we like your potential. It's just funny how that works, how the guy that's in charge. And I think this only happens in sports. I can't think of anywhere else this happens. That the guy who's in charge, the guy who calls the shots, has virtually no job security in comparison with the people that he's employing. And I've always thought, that's probably part of the reason why uh, we see coaches just getting fired, players not playing well for certain coaches. I don't really like this guy. If I play badly, he's fired. Um, I can't think of a single job that, that you can get where if you work really badly, your boss gets fired for it. Not like that. Now, there are cases where that can happen if productivity is crap, where they go, oh, you're not motivating your, your, your staff, but... Not like in sports. This is ridiculous. Anyway, so Murray gets a two-year job, two two-year extension for doing a pretty solid job as a general manager. Um, the Ottawa Senators are in trouble. Matt Duchesne's out with a groin injury. It's estimated it'll take two weeks, but groin injuries can uh, can linger, so it's week to week. The estimation is it'll be two. Uh, and Bobby Ryan's on the injured reserve with a concussion. No timetable for return, and of course. Bobby Ryan's a guy that I think Ottawa would like to trade out if they could with that contract. And he was having a solid enough season this year that you might have got a nibble on that contract towards the 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 uh, the trade deadline. But I, now, now that's all up in the air, right? A team is going to want to see him healthy before they're going to trade for that contract. And even then, Ottawa's going to have to eat money. And I, I don't know that Melnick could be talked into that. Um, uh, people have been wanting me to talk about the Ryan Reeves photos. So there were photos made of Reeves, uh, running over, uh, Tom Wilson. And those photos have been destroyed. After signing them, Ryan Reeves realized, you know what, this is in, in bad taste. And he had them destroyed. So that's why I didn't do a video specifically on that. And I'm only talking about it now a day later. Because there really isn't a whole lot that's there. Um, keep in mind, too, that... If, if you look back to some of the uh, old Broad Street Bully type days back in the 70s or 80s, these guys were proud of, of the hits they dished out. And in some cases, yeah, probably proud of, of injuries that they dished out on guys they didn't really like. It was the totally different mindset. And so now we can't imagine taking joy in injuring people but Wilson clearly has enjoyed at times running guys over. He's had a smile on his face after running guys over. And Reeves runs Wilson over. He has a smile on his face after it. There, there is certainly a part that enjoys it. Because it's, it's, it kind of comes with the job when there's that much hitting going on. When there's teams that don't really like each other. Or there's that really big rivalry going on. Yeah, running a guy over. I can imagine Reeves felt pretty good. So he signs pictures. Realizes after, you know what, we shouldn't immortalize that moment. And it really kind of makes me look like an ass. So I'm just going to have those pictures destroyed. So they're they're gone. But I don't think Reeves is the only guy in the NHL who would want to sign pictures of himself running Tom Wilson out of a game. And I know for fans of the Caps, they'd be like, well, wait, why Wilson? Or, or it's always Wilson. No, there are players now that would love to have pictures of themselves running... Um, Lucic out of a game, or um, Bertuzzi, or like Tyler, not Todd. You know, Todd's long retired. Nobody's running him out of a game right now. And and that's kind of a, a mentality with players that, that's there. And I think uh, that might be part of the reason why they're so milk toast in interviews and, and, and in general these days, because... You know, if, if that side of them comes out, people go, wow, I really don't like this guy. This is, what a horrible mentality. 
do you think they don't know what they're doing when they run somebody over? Because they do. Um, now, moving on. Uh, Krejci will be skating with Pasternak and Marshawn tonight against Toronto. Am I happy about that? No. Uh, DeBrusque is out for the weekend. Uh, of course, Bergeron's still out. That's why Krejci is skating with Pasternak and, and, and Marshawn. Yeah, this is... This is Boston's offense just absolutely crumbling, and I, I don't know that necessarily Krejci is going to be a big help. Krejci has a lot of assists. That should help Paz to get a goal. But what happens with lines two through four? Dog's breakfast. So not 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 a happy time for me as a Bruins fan. And uh, good news for Tampa fans, Vasilevsky could be backing up to Demang by December 16th. They're not saying he'll be ready to start. They're saying he'll be healthy enough that he'll be the backup so that if they need him in a game, he can go in. But they'd prefer that he gets a little bit more rest, but he'd be healthy enough to play. So he's going to start skating with the team this week and could very well be on the bench for December 16th. So there you go. Just some news of the day items to start you off. Uh, there's a Philly and Buffalo game going on right now, and there's a Vegas-LA game that's early. So I'm going to um, likely do a, a review video of those two games when they're done which will shorten down the video for reviewing later tonight because I need to do that, then power rankings, and then my preview for Sunday, and that'll be fun. Uh, and, and power ranking, there's been a lot of movement this week, so that should make people um, unhappy and happy, depending on how people's opinions are on the teams that have moved big uh, a lot. Anyways, there you go. Um, let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.